Yo, what's up guys? AFC Udino here today bringing this Sharpedo team to the battlefield, guys. I'm playing against good shit. Um, the Fable Big Threat, but my Septos also Big Threat. Um, yeah, my team is pretty weak to Clef. But anyway, I'm gonna lead off with Sep. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> he leads off with the Tornadoes, pretty good for me. And... Gonna go for Volt Switch, um, and just in case he wants to go into the Guard Chomp. Um, I think it's better to just click HP Ice. Because even if he stays in and knocks me off, um, oh, he actually does knock me off. Uh, Inner Power is still super effective. I got a crit, but I did nothing, man. So I, I assume that's an Assault Fest Tornadus. Uh, I could Roost, but I'd rather have the momentum here. I don't think he brings in the Chomp now. Uh, especially because I just showed HP Ice there. Um, so I'm gonna Volt Switch here. At the end, he turns and he brings in the Ferrothorn. Okay. I assume he doesn't know that I have Heat Wave. Maybe if I went for a Roost, that would have been good. But I can bring in my boy, the Conkeldar, the Clown, activate my Orb. Uh, I actually have Bulk Up. <laughs> Um, this thought it would was funny would be funny to use. Not good in this game because I, I don't touch the Gengar, uh, but I don't want to be in a position where I need to predict here. So I'm actually gonna bring in my Zapdos because uh, if he does make a double, then uh, oh, Zapdos has a good matchup against his team. He brings in a Guard Jump. Uh, his Guard Jump, I think it's a defensive jump because why would he bring it in on my Conkeldar? Uh, so I'm gonna hit him up with HP Ice. He goes for Toxic. Um, I don't think he stays in because I assume this guard jump is a stealth rocker. Um, let me because it is a defensive jump, judging from the HP ice damage. I'm gonna roost there as he brings in the Clefable. Uh, maybe, maybe call mind intro or something. I don't know. Um, I'm I'm just gonna Volt Switch here and get some chip off on this clef. 28, so that's definitely a defensive jump, not those of not one of those uh life orb modest clefs. Um I need some more damage for Sharpedo or Conkeldor, so what to bring in though? Hmm. Cause I can I think bringing in him Powden, because with the sandstorm I can basically see if he's unaware or not. Cause if he is, I can poison him. He does go for wish. I assume he wants to uh, heal the Garchomp. So, might as well poison the Garchomp then. Since he has my uh, Zapdos poisoned. And he doesn't have Sandfa. Because, uh, obviously, Defensive has Rocky uh, Rough Skin. Uh, I don't want Hip Power to poison though, so I'm gonna switch here. I don't know if he wants to go for Rocks now. But I'll bring in Ferritorn. If he does go for Rocks, I get up Spikes. Yeah, okay, he does go for Rocks. Um, I just, because I need my opponent to deal with the fish sharp. So, I'll just get up a spike. I don't think he has a fire type attack because he did show toxic. As he brings in his own Ferrothorn. At least get up a spike here. And at this point, I might as well just knock him off. He has knock off himself, so I think yeah, we have the same set because uh, I think his Ferrothorn, his Ferrothorn has spikes as well. That is going to be the battle of the Ferrothorns. Um... Pretty sure he wants to set up spikes. What if? Yeah, it's, I don't think my Ferrothorn's gonna do much. It's obviously annoying if he gets max hazards, but I, I don't think I can stop it. Uh, because I cannot stop it, it's probably better for me to go for as many layers as I can as well. Because it's that's gonna help my. Uh, my Sharpedo. Yeah, he does have spikes. I'll go for one more. And assuming he wants to set up his last layer of spikes, I'm gonna bring in my Bowden and get up rocks. Uh, I don't mind too much if he knocks me off. Obviously, Rock Hammond would be nice for Bish Sharp, but it's still a necessity. And he actually goes for Leech Heat, so he, and he misses. So that miss is actually really good for me. Because now I can get on my rocks. 
as it goes for knockoff now so uh, that means some more chip on this ferrothorn and assuming he wants to lead cheat me now i'm gonna slack off here because i'll be at a bit more hp maybe he misses again i don't know no he doesn't miss and i'll just go back into ferrothorn because i don't want this ferrothorn knocking off more things on my team um i think my ferrothorn is the most expendable one just for protect there and at this point, I'm just gonna spam Leech Sheet. Um, I don't. I want to punish him for switching, and if, cause I'll, if he knocks me off, he's gonna take more damage. I, I don't think his knockoff's gonna do much. He does knock off here. I take nine percent, but he takes twelve, so <laughs> it's actually hurting him more to take me. So, uh, obviously, I'm not gonna knock off. I'm just gonna spam Leech Sheet. As he does same. I don't mind. I. I I'll keep this up all day, man. As he knocks off. He actually gets a crit. Kinda annoying, because because of that crit, I think I... If he didn't crit me, I think I would live one extra... A knockoff. But it's fine. It's fine, whatever. I'm saying we're gonna keep spamming Leechy, guys. I'm not switching. And I won't let him switch either, for free. Because Le my Leech Sheet hits his whole team since his Clefable is unaware. He does go for knockoff. I think I lived one more. If he didn't crit me, it would have been two more. <laughs> okay, you're all ready to lead. My Leech. I mean, this is fine. <laughs> I don't love the Titans, boys. Ferrothorn versus Ferrothorn. Okay, he does go for knockoff now. Yeah, he had enough. And now he's in a knockoff range, so I might as well just attack him. Because if... Uh, then we just go for the double KO. If he doesn't go for knockoff, I knock him out. Otherwise, he knocks himself out. He does go for knockoff. Both Ferrothorns going down. That's, that's how it... That's how it is, boys. Ferrothorn versus Ferrothorn. I'm not sure what he's gonna bring in. Um, but I, like I said, Bisharp. Oh, Bisharp. Um, Zeptos has a really good matchup against this team, so. I'm just gonna bring out the Zap. Maybe he'll just leave Tornadus, because he let Tornadus on the first turn as well. Yeah. And we know this is Assault Fest. But I'm just gonna Roost there. Uh, there's not much this. Tornadus can do to me. As he hits her again. And he confused me. Please, 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 please. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and I'm just gonna... Just gonna Volt Switch her. Not sure if he he's gonna Hurricane again. Okay, he does. I snap out though. I hit him. And yeah, here's the annoying thing. My team is my team is slower than this turn. He has a soul fest. I think I have to bring in my torpedo just to force it out. Because his powder needs to be that for Bisharp, especially with Septos being poisoned and weakened, and him having rocks up. I mean, I do have Conkelder, but I'd rather pref I prefer to keep his powder. And his powder is not gonna do much to the Tornadus anyway. So, I think I have to bring in Sharpedo. Because whatever he brings in is gonna take uh, spikes and stealth rock damage. I just go Sharpedo. And I. I have to protect there. I think he should know that I have to protect there, so he's most likely switching, but I'm still protecting. In case he goes Garchomp, because I don't want to hit Garchomp. He's gonna take spikes of stealth rock and poison damage, but if I hit him, I take rocky helmet, rough skin, plus life orb chip. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna protect one one time just to let the poison damage tick. Because I could obviously knock him out there, but I will lose a lot of health. And he's on a timer anyway. Plus he cannot. I don't think he can bring it in uh, back in anymore. 
because my spikes is gonna do are going to do 25 percent plus rocks so plus for dragon tail and yeah like i said if i attack him i'm gonna lose more damage than i would if i bring it in again uh, from the hazard so it would probably be better to switch um what to switch in the I think I just, I think a like Kipowden could be an option, but I need him. Well, like, I, like I said, I need him. Maybe also to poison the Clefable later, so I'm gonna bring a Suicune. Suicune is less important. Actually, actually goes for Earthquake. But not doing too much, but yeah, obviously with Spikes and Stellrock a lot. Garchomp goes, does go down. Now the Gengar comes in. If that boy is Specs, I think Suicune dies. Maybe, maybe it's a roll. Uh, but I don't have any switch because Ferretorn died, so his, his Sludge Bomb is really free. Okay, that's, that looks to be Scarfed. Please get the burn. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Um, I'm gonna rest here. Knocks me out. Oh, now I need to force out this Gengar. Might as well use Sharpedo for this. At least he cannot heal up his Gengar, because if he switches out, he's definitely he's hundred percent dead. So I'm gonna protect her. As he goes into the Clefable, which is fine. I don't need Sharpedo anymore. Gengar is dead. Cannot heal it up anymore, so I might as well go for the flinch here. If I don't get it, it doesn't really matter. I still have Conkeldor in the back. I can poison him with Hippowdon, which is still alive. Okay. And maybe I got the flinch, so... He's had a chance to go for it. And we do get it. So Sharpedo actually gonna pick up a kill in this game. So really nice. Um, at this point, I'm gonna hit him up with Waterfall. He protects, but that will be in vain because the moment he switches, this Clefable is gonna die to the entry hazard. So I'm gonna keep Waterfalling. So I think he's kind of forced to bring in the Bisharp now to Sucker Punch me. Then Bisharp is gonna take damage. And I have Conkeldor and Hippowden to force it out. Yeah. Pretty sure he goes for Sucker Punch, but there's no reason for me to predict Sucker Punch. Because I can bring in Hippowden after, or even Conkeldor. Uh, after he knocks me out. And as long as I keep Septos, I have something for his Tornadoes. But my rocks are also still up, so... Uh, and the moment I switch out, my Sharpedo dies as well. Let's go for Sucker Punch. And... I'm bringing Conkeldor. Keep it bottom for later, maybe. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna sack his uh, Gengar now. But there's no reason for me to overpredict there, obviously. Bulking up doesn't make any sense because I'm gonna die to Tornadus anyway. If it brings in Tornadus, Tornadus gets 2 hit KO'd. Uh, because my Stealth Rocks are up. He does go Gengar, but Gengar is going to die. I have Conkeldor and Hippowden for his... Uh, for his Bisharp, so I can sack one of the two. He brings in the Tornadus now. Uh, I think keeping Conkeldor is a bit better, because he can still flinch down my Hippowden. Uh, basically narrowing down his chances of victory because uh, if he does flinch my hip out and with Bisharp I can still lose if if I second Conkeldor there plus he needs to hit two hurricanes so that's the first one he hit but, and he's also taking sandstorm damage yeah if, if he if he hits me it's whatever I still accept those but he misses I connect the toxic and he's gonna take poison plus sandstorm again Plus he's gonna take it the second turn. I might as well, since I'm gonna die anyway. Uh, earthquake. Here. 
I could slack off, but I don't care too much about this. He does knock me out with Hurricane. And I could obviously just knock him out with Conkeller, but you know, I want to bring him up, boys, up to us. <laughs> Come on, Rooster. I want to end off this game with a legendary. <laughs> I just thought Switch is gonna kill him. It's gonna hit him. <laughs> Don't want to miss a heat wave there. He does go for Sucker Punch. And we end up knocking out the Bisharp. And now I can bring in Conkelder. And after Rocks, uh, the Tornado should be in range. I wish I could have just gone Conkelder first, but. <laughs> the Zepdos was on a bench for a long time, so. It wanted to play, you know? Like a coach. <laughs> I'm actually gonna. Obviously, I can mock with him. I'm gonna sack Zapdos, let him take the poison damage, and then there's no way he's gonna live this mock punch. I know he's not gonna live it, but just securing, securing. Um, this Conkelder is gonna live the spikes on Stealth Rock. And if I'm correct, I should have enough health in case he is Rocky Helmet, but there's no way it's Rocky Helmet, because otherwise my HP Ice would have done much more in the beginning. I assume it's Assault Fest. We knock out this tornadoes. I was just a bit messing around, guys, in the end. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Uh, Charpedo did end up getting a kill in this one. Um, but the most important thing was him forcing out um, the tornadoes. It even forced out the Gengar. But Gengar, the Gengar was scarfed, right? Well, it's not, com not confirmed it could have been something else, uh, maybe Focus Sash, I don't know. But he wasn't Specs, because otherwise he would have done more damage to my Suicune there. Um, so he could have actually stayed in, because uh, I don't think he was dying to the burn yet. If I... Oh my god. I should have realized, because... Um, well, actually, I didn't need Sharpedo, because uh, I was protecting... Then he was gonna block, and if he knocked me out that turn, he was gonna die to the burn anyway. He was gonna die to the burn anyway. Uh, if I didn't burn him, however, then the play would have been bringing in Hippowden after Suicune dies, because Hippowden res resists Sludge Bomb, so I can slack off on it um, and go from there. Because the moment the Gengar switches out, he, di he dies. And the Tornado's couldn't have Defog because he was Assault Fested. He, even if he had Defog, he couldn't use it because of the item. Um, and yeah. Uh, and yeah, the flinch play with the Sharpedo was whatever. Because even if I didn't get the flinch, I could have just brought in Hippowden, poisoned him. Uh, poisoned the Clef. Basically. Because what was he going to do to stop my... Uh, Poison. The Gengar was gonna die. If he brings in Bishop, Bishop dies to Earthquake. And otherwise, I poison the Tornadoes. So in that sense, it didn't really matter. But yeah, the Lynch on the Clefable just sped up the process, I guess. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Uh, check out my Discord server, link in the description. Also, check me out on Instagram. Uh, it's basically a way to stay updated. Uh, with my life and yeah I hope to see you guys in the next videos guys